Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 21.1 XFCE Desktop. I'm going to talk about the Alt key today. A little bit about the Control key and uh, some interactions you can do with your computer mouse scroll wheel in regards to that Alt key also and the Control key. Some of these uh, shortcuts some of you folks may already know but maybe some you don't. And, uh, and I'll also talk about screen zoom using some of those keys. So in either case, folks, welcome. None of my videos are under two minutes. They all have chapters and timelines. And I do encourage that you read my about section and also check out my community tab if you're searching for other videos, especially for keywords. Go check out my community tab. There's some tips in there about doing keyword searches on my 100 plus videos. So one more time, folks, welcome. So the first key I'm going to talk about is um, the start key or the Windows key. So I'm filming in 1080 today. If that's not to your liking, go click on your player and check out that gearbox. You may want to change that from the lowest screen resolution to something better. Because I know that uh, on a lot of devices it defaults to the lowest screen resolution. So I'm going to depress the start key or that Windows key. And all that is is go searching for my applications. So now I can go type in uh, look for things. Did you know you can do the same thing with your Alt key? Alt and F2 does this. So I'm going to type in CAL for like calculator and click that and I have two options and I'm going to launch it. The nicer version of that is actually the key next to it is Alt and F3. And I'll type in the same keyword, Cal. Uh, CA is good enough for me. So. I can either hit launch or double click on this. That's all up to you. I'm going to open up the same box, Alt and F3. Did you know you can close down this box in any other window on your system using Alt F4? Alt F4. Open up a web browser. You're done for today. Alt F4. You've got your file manager open, Mr. Mark has his files open and he's done for today. Alt F4. He has a uh, game open. Alt F4. What if you got multiple items open? All right, let's do uh, one game and one file manager as the example. So it depends on which one is active is the one that's going to close down first. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm about to do. I'm going to hit Alt F4. It's going to close down the file manager for Mr. Mark. Then I'm going to hit another Alt F4 and it's going to close down the card game. And the third Alt F4 is going to give me the dialog box of restarting and re, um, restarting, shutdown, and etc. Alt F4, Alt F4, Alt F4. How quickly did I do that? Pretty fast. So that's the last, last Alt F4. I'm ready for shutdown now or restart or log out. All right, let's talk about some other interactions. So I'm going to talk a little bit about something I have talked in the past, which is your control key also. And I'll talk about the same in the file manager. I'm sorry, the uh, web browser also. So if you're trying to uh, resize the innards in here, the icons, in other words, um, you can do that rather quickly. I've shown this feature I don't know how many times over the last four years, but I'll rehash it for the folks that have never seen any of my videos. So basically all I'm doing here is instead of clicking the view menu and clicking that uh, zoom in and out of normal or hitting the control plus plus or control plus negative or control plus zero, I'm substituting the plus negative and zero with my computer mouse scroll wheel. My USB based computer mouse scroll wheel is all I'm substituting that with. So I'm going to hold down the control key while it's still depressed, scrolling up and down on my computer mouse scroll wheel. To resize icons. This comes in handy, of course, with thumbnails for pictures or wallpapers. As soon as I get them to the large size, if I have a scroll bar, I can scroll normally. Right click, set as new wallpaper. All right, so I have uh, Mr. Mark's folder in here, and I'm going to resize those icons. Let's say you got anything open in here and you need a quick zoom on anything. I'll, I'll pick the ear of this uh, chess piece, this weird looking wallpaper chess piece. But instead of using the control key, I'm going to use the alt key. While holding down the alt key, 
I'm going to use the computer mouse scroll wheel, my USB based computer mouse scroll wheel to get a bigger picture of this ear. And I'm going to walk the mouse around it and get into it really pixelated. And I'm still holding down that Alt key. I'm going to scroll back out until I can see a scroll bar. I mean a, a panel bar, panel bar. Then I'm going to walk my mouse pointer over on this side and look at this other chess piece. Holding down the Alt key, scrolling in on my computer mouse, and I get that effect. This is for you folks that want to do a quick zoom in and out. Now, if you are in this position here and you release the Alt key and you're panicking, trying to figure out how to get out of this, or you did it by accident and you're trying to hit the Escape key, nothing will happen. You need to depress and hold down your Alt key and then scroll backwards until you can see your panel bar. Now you're back to 100%. Does this work in a web browser? Absolutely. I'll also show you some additional tips with your Control key in here too. Now, I can zoom in on anything in here. So if I were to take these things here and I take my mouse pointer and point it at it, I hold down the Alt key, I can zoom in on that. If I walk over to here to this same ear outside this box, hold down the Alt key, I can zoom in on that ear again. Or I can zoom in on that. Or if I release the Alt key and scroll down some more, to another article a couple of and then scroll back in using the alt key feature this is alt and the scroll wheel on my computer mouse now i'm going to release the alt key and i'm going to depress the control key while i'm inside this parameter box what do i mean by that all right so we can see the top of the window then you can see uh, what i'm using is tabs up here then the address bar and then below it is your, uh, your bookmarks. Right below that is one line. That's the, uh, the zone that you can affect the zooming. So 140%, as long as I'm below this line right here, and I depress the control key while scrolling on my computer mouse, I can go from 30 to 500% in Firefox. That's 500%, and this is 30%. So far, so good. I'll leave it at 150 and then I'm going to take my mouse pointer and go slightly above this. I'm going to depress and hold the control key while scrolling. Nothing happens. As soon as I go below this line though, the magic starts again. If I go outside this box, nothing. As soon as I come back inside the box, I can start doing the same thing, resizing. You've got to be inside of this imaginary boundary to resize the innards, the information inside your web browser from 30% to 500%. I don't think all web browsers will display that, but you can certainly resize information in other web browsers doing the exact same thing I'm doing here. The other thing I'm going to talk about is this imaginary bar that's up here. What do I mean by that? Well, you know how we always aim for this maximize button to do this? And then we go back to the other size. Did you know you can just double click on this? Click, click. Click, click. Does this work in a web browser? Or are, are only in a web browser? No, you can work, do this on your file manager also. So I'm going to double click over here. I'm going to double click over here. Doesn't matter. What's to close this box? Alt F4. File Manager open, Just bring it to the center. I'm going to click on Mr. Mark twice. Click, 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 click. I'm going to click over here twice. Click, click. I'll click twice over here. I'm nowhere near that box. You can use it the old fashioned way though. What if you got a touchpad? Well, uh, touchpads are a little bit, well, touchier. You may want to try tap, tap. For resizing icons, you still have to hold the control key down and maybe use two fingers to do what I'm doing here with a USB-based computer mouse with a scroll wheel on it. Okay, tap, tap. Again, I, all I'm doing here is holding down the control key on my keyboard while using my USB-based computer mouse scroll wheel to resize the icons. 
Okay. I can still zoom in on, on any region of the screen if I use that Alt key. Alt and the scroll wheel does that. Depending on what portion of the screen I point at is where it's going to start doing that magic. And if you get lost, right now you don't see a scroll bar, but you can see where I'm just kind of twirling around. The scaling is way off. The zoom factor is real heavy. And I'm panicking. I'm hitting the space bar. Nothing's happening except my search feature came up. I hit my escape key. Nothing's happening. Well, you know, a lot of people panic and turn their computers off. Don't do that. Just hit the Alt key. And then take your scroll wheel and scroll back out or in your choice until you can see your panel bar. Release that Alt key. Now you should be in normal. In other words, the stuff shouldn't bounce around when I'm doing this. And now I can move my windows around and using the control key, resizing icons on the inside of this box. What's the keyword for closing this? Alt F4 and one more Alt F4 does that. All right, folks, hopefully these tips were valuable to you. Thank you for watching.